I'm a huge fan of ceramics, huge fan. And uh, I think that's important for people to, to understand the difference though. So when you have like aerospace companies or even oil and gas or people that are doing a lot of uh, ink and L machining, ceramics is huge, right? Because there's no greater or more efficient way to actually rub out nickel alloys, which is hard, tough material and stuff. But you really have to understand when to use it. Because what I see, a lot of times you're lacking in the flute length. So although you can take a cut and you can go fast, if you have an application that actually drops down three inches or something, uh, I think the, the Harvey 3 will actually outperform it in a few different ways, meaning the amount of material coming off, instead of just going one times D or two times D, you can go four times D and it lasts so long that you might lose it on the front end a little bit, but because it's taking off twice as much of material, you're basically, and it runs for like hours, yes. you basically make it up. So, you know, on the, on the back end and stuff. So I think that you have to look at the application and look at like, you know, how much material are you removing? And if you are removing a lot of material and there's a lot of money in the job, then Add, putting ceramics in and using the, you know, you know, tool management and stuff. Meaning when I say tool management, I mean like you can actually put five tools up in the spindle, the exact same tools, like maybe tool one is a ceramic cutter, but, you know, tool 45, 46, 47, 48 are also ceramic cutters and they've been zeroed out. And you basically say, hey, I'm going to run this at 15 minutes. And then the program knows at 15 minutes, take this one out. You still can use it later, but go grab 45 or 46 and and run it as tool one so that you run nonstop. That's what I mean by tool management. So in those cases, ceramics are absolutely amazing. And it just really depends what you're doing, right? 